And there are calls for Europe to follow President Trump and recognize Iran as the threat the administration says it is. The largest Iranian opposition group holding its annual rally against the Tehran regime. This year, for the first time, the supporters are gathered at its new community in Albania. You know, the huge rally has previously been held just outside of Paris. Well, every year, the event tra attracts a variety of former top U.S. officials from both sides of the aisle. And this year, among those demanding the Europeans stop doing business with the regime was former New York City mayor and President Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani. I accuse the Ayatollah and Rouhani and all of their sycophants and followers, I accuse them of murder. Not just murder, mass murder, crimes against humanity. How can we tolerate this and look at ourselves in the mirror? How can we live with this 40 years? The Mullah's regime is engulfed in serious crisis. She is the leader of the largest Iranian opposition group, Maryam Rajavi, head of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. She says the recent attacks on oil tankers in the Persian Gulf and the shooting down of a U.S. drone that the U.S. blamed on Tehran exposed the weakness of the regime. It faces an explosive society, an organized resistance movement, and an America which is not rushing to help it at critical moments as before. Rajavi says the new economic sanctions slapped on Iran by President Trump have increased the financial pressure on the government. And the only way to change Iran's behavior is to reimpose United Nations Security Council sanctions that before the nuclear deal had cut off billions in trade. Critics say the U.S. abandoning the nuclear deal will only speed up Tehran's pursuit of a nuclear weapon. But Rajavi says the money only emboldens the regime. The sanctions which were lifted in 2015 did not benefit the Iranian people. The unfrozen assets were used for more suppression and for more gain. The group has held protests on the streets of Washington and in Europe and supports the countless demonstrations that have taken place inside Iran. That's where Rajavi says the future of her nation lies. The international community must recognize the right of the Iranian resistance to topple this regime. Well, Iran has long considered the council a terrorist group. You know, its followers have been executed for their opposition. But that has not stopped those street protests against the government. Those demonstrations still continue inside Iran.